Hello, you guys. Nikki from Gracie's house. So, um, I know I posted earlier and uh, I said I probably wasn't going to be coming on or even getting in the workshop today. I was pla The plan was that I was going to be at Gracie's school all day long filming, but we managed to get everything done that we could do. Um, and I've been back about half an hour. Because uh, of the rain, we didn't get to do any outdoor filming today. So, um, her daddy will be going back and filming tomorrow, which means I get to get in the workshop for a little while. So those of you that follow my page, you might have had a little teaser. You've had a few little teasers over the last few days. Hi Anne um, and Diane and Nancy, thanks for joining. Anyone that's popping on um, this afternoon, I don't even know what time it is. It's great. I'm not picking Gracie up from school. I've got some time. So. Just pop on, say hello if you're there. I'll always try and interact with you. So we had a little sneaky, sneaky uh, teaser of this magical tube that came in the post. Um, and Jackie little, dropped a little comment in to say that she'd had a delivery from Dizzy Ducks today as well. So I'm quite interested to see what design she's gone for. Hi, Erin. Uh, not morning for me anymore. So it's, of course it's morning for you, but it's... It's probably coming up for about three o'clock in the afternoon, I think. Hi, Helen. So, my uh, stencil, working on the bureau. So I've got it laid on its back so it's easier. So once I've had a little chat with you, I will tip the camera so it's easier to see. But the, and do you know what? The little piece is over there. I can just see it. Hang on. <clears throat> so this is gonna be a layered stencil. Hi, Anne. Hi, Terry. Hi, Diane. Um, and I've got, I've just seen Tanya pop on as well. So this is gonna be a layered stencil. So I bought this set from um, Dizzy Ducks. They do a package for this particular set of designs. So being that it's a mid-century piece, uh, I know that we've been doing the green and I've done the gold and it's been looking a little bit Christmassy. Well, I wanted it to be more fitting and hopefully I've found the right thing. So this is the small section which might not give so much away. So kind of I'm gonna be applying it like that. So that's gonna be the base in gold and that'll be on a repeat. And then over the top. So while I was getting the green that I mixed for the frame, uh, I come up with some, some lovely greens and I also mixed a green the other day with Palmetto and Gold Digger and it's beautiful. It's very subtle, there's a bit of shimmer from the Gold Digger in there but it's definitely a green. Green metallic, very pretty. I've got some holy guacamole I might throw in here. All these lovely tones. And Jackie also mentioned the other colours that I'd mixed to get to this one um, looked really nice together. So I think I'm going to try and do some blending across a stencil as well. So this is the layer that's going to go over the top. So as I said, this is a stencil set. This isn't just one stencil. Uh, Carolyn, I'm actually not doing my physio exercise. <laughs> You're not doing, so you should be doing your physio. <laughs> um, so look at the, oh, wrong way on the camera. Look at those. So that's just one leaf. And I've got another leaf. I keep going the wrong way because I've got my camera so nothing's reversed. So there's all these little leaf sprays, tropical leaf sprays that go with and that's almost, you could use that as a feather as well. That's dual, um, that's a dual purpose. I think you could do that as a pretty feather. That's more like a banana leaf. And there's the biggest one. Nice. So I'm thinking ones like this with, with beautiful sort of blended greens and some thinking pretty things. And then that's the last leaf. How gorgeous. So they're gonna all be in greens and, and like I said, I think I'm gonna go the, the greeny gold because I'm putting the geometric pattern in gold. So that's, the, that's, that's what I'm doing there. I have done one piece to make sure. Hi Jeannie, hi Terry. Um, I've done one piece already. You know me, I like to test it before I show you just in case it goes wrong. But you know what, even if there's a little bit of touching up, it's fine. Uh, Carolyn, you, you did them this morning, but usually, I know I usually do my lives in the morning. I see what you mean, so normally you're doing your physio. Uh, so I am using, you know, the good old favourite, Eternal. Hi Helen. Uh, 
This is now available most places in the new packaging in the tubes. I haven't got a tube yet and I managed to get my hands, this is my old one, but I have managed to get my hands on maybe one of the last tubs, I don't know, it seems like they were the last tubs. Hi Zoe! Um, but the tubes are now available, I've popped the link in, if anyone wants to order the Eternal through my affiliate link, then the link's up in the comments, uh, in the description. I'm going to turn the camera down now, do a quick reveal of the one that I've done already, and then I'll move it on, um, just on, swing back to your piece. Yes, I'm going back to the piece now, so it's on the floor. I'm just going to turn my camera a little, and then swing you all down. So you're going to be able to hear me, but not see me anymore. So how is that? Can you see enough? I, the problem is, I'm not going to be able to see my comments. Hang on, let me just... Oh, come on. There we go. Is that enough? Because I need to be able to see, you, see your lovely comments as well. Okay. So, hi, Nikki. Hi, Sue. I know. Uh, do you know what? It's unfair because I haven't used a tube of the decor wax yet. I just like the tub. I like to be able to get my big brush in there. Right, so this is the one that I've tried already. So you see what I mean? This is, they give you a small piece so that it's easier to get into gaps for your repeat. Um, so they give you, you know, that's it's a really, really good, good um, you like what's going in there. This is great, isn't it, Catherine? I love it. So let's do a little lift up. I've got a feeling I might have, I haven't used adhesive, spray adhesive. I've just used tape to place it and that's, Decor wax makes it, um, uh, is much easier to, to get that with stencils. So there's a little bit of fuzziness. I can go uh, uh, and clean that up afterwards. But, and also don't forget, once I've done everything and it's cured, I will be oiling this. So it will bring the wood grain, it will make it darker. So this is gonna stand out even more. I think you can see it okay. Shirtly done, Brad, is she? It's only spitting. What, the little ones at the front door? I'm not taking that, that okay. looks woofed up. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> husband's <j> <laughs> I'm not taking a little umbrella. Okay, fine, don't. Okay, okay. Fine. Yeah, thank you. Husband's going to pick up Gracie and is worried that she might, might or might not need an umbrella. Okay, so you've just caught me. Leslie, Sue, what are you doing? I missed the start. So it's a stencil. So we've got, we've got this stencil. It's a stencil set. I'll, I'll quickly just hold them all up as, rather than go through them all again. So we have different tropical leaves that the, uh, the geometric goes on first and then the leaves will go over the top. <clears throat> and Sue, if you've missed, we've done the frame in green. I've done the legs. I've sprayed the internals gold in the, in, in the inside of the drop leaf. Um, hi, husband. Yeah, you heard the husband. The, the line, do you know what? I'm really pleased. I think the lines have come out well. I've got a couple of little bits where I've obviously been a bit, a bit over keen because I haven't, like I said, I've not used spray adhesive. I've literally just taped it down. But generally, decor wax works really well like that. So I'm gonna try and do a repeat while I'm on with you. And that was where I was, wasn't it? So I, I'm probably gonna to be too stupid to work this out now. Uh, let's go that way, that'll make it easier. So you see, you can just use these lines to line up for your next piece. I want to go right up to the edge. I might have to lift the door up actually. Let's just move that door up out of the way. Sorry, I'm gonna get my arms in the way. <clears throat> there we go. So I have, um, this is just a really, really cheap bristle brush. It's a bit softer because I'm using decor wax and not paint. I started off with a normal sort of stencil brush with the hard flat end and it just wasn't getting the product on right. So I think it works better with paint, that kind of brush. So I'm really using, I mean, you can see how much it's worn down. It's, it's, it's not even straight anymore. Um, <clears throat> and because I don't need to worry too much about getting anything on my paint on my hands, and I'm just, it's the same action as you would use a stencil brush. And that's probably why I got a bit under there because I, I went long ways instead of, if on stain first and then use decor. No, because I'm not using a stain, I'm gonna be using hemp oil. Um, hemp oil or Big Mama's butter. Uh, and it just because, it, it, that's just the way I'm gonna do it because I'm also gonna be using paint and I want to seal that paint afterwards. So it's just the way I've chosen to do it. 
but you're right, if you wanted to stain first, you could, um, you could use Decor Wax over stain. <clears throat> I think as well, I like to see the reveal. And because this cures this cures well, I like to see the reveal. So rather than um, hem oiling first and then putting the decor wax on the top, I like doing everything and then seeing the magic when you put the oil on. And hem oil goes well over paint to seal it. It's a really gentle way of sealing. It. And when it dries, it dries really well, cures really well. You like it, Jeannie? It's cute, isn't it? I, I mean, I love decor wax. It's just... I'm going to have to be so careful when I'm doing the leaves because I'm so used to using... I use decor wax with stencils a lot and I do choose to use decor wax over paint when I'm stenciling just because of the type of stencils I choose to do. So I'm going to have to be so careful when I do the leaves. <coughs> So you could use a spray adhesive. I've, um, I've had some friends that have been using stencils recently and they've been struggling with the residue afterwards. So if anyone's a bit more used to doing stencils and has a, a product they could recommend, I don't know if that 3M repositional adhesive is any better. I used to use that when I was at college and I honestly can't remember if it used to leave residue or not. <coughs> Excuse me. a little bit fiddly here as you can see on the edge so I did tape it so that I didn't get any um it's not overspray but you know what I mean you know what I mean but you can touch up afterwards so you know <clears throat> so we had loads of fun at Gracie's school today um she's been doing some presenting they do, they're, they're putting together a um, like a promotional video for the school. Terry, chalk paste for the leaves. Do you know what? That's really not a bad idea. I'm just trying to think what colours I've got. I haven't got all of the colours. I've got a pale green. I'm wondering if I can mix. I might be able to mix some stuff with the chalk paste. And I've got icing pastes on order. But again, did I order green? Oh, I can't remember. That is a good point though. I like the way you think. <clears throat> and you see, I wouldn't have suggestions like that if I didn't do things like this live. So thank you. And I'm just gonna go right up onto the edge there. And also, the great thing about this, because it goes right over to the edges, so when I was sanding, it, this is veneer, inevitably, you know, on the edges particularly, you have to be so careful. Um, and I, can you see the laser light spot here? So I, I've busted into the veneer just ever so slightly. But between this part of the stencil and the leaves that are gonna go over the top, all of that will be covered. And then the hem oil will just make everything else look beautiful. So, you know, I, I'm not worried about it <clears throat> too much. Okay, let's just lift that bit up and see how we've managed. Might have to go over that one. It's not so dark as this, but it's nice. It might be the angle I'm at. <clears throat> like it. And let's just go. <clears throat> Is that the right way? That way. Uh, we'll go up and do this top corner as well. Be even more tricky here. I had to put everything back in. I had to put the drawers back in and the doors because I want everything to line up.
but what I might do is now I've placed it, I might take the doors back off again so I can do them really flat. I think I'm gonna do that. So what I might do is do this, like I said, I want this to follow over. So I might start on the drawer because the drawer's nice and flat, <coughs> but the rest of the doors I will do. I'll take them, I'll, I'll not do them on, the, on camera. So what's everybody else doing this afternoon? Or, or morning, if it's your morning? Are you, if it's two-ish, no, no, if he's just gone to get Gracie. So it's three-ish for me, just after three, I should imagine. So a lot of you in America, uh, I think you could be anything from five hours different to eight hours different, I think. <clears throat> but mostly five, I think. Which gives you, about, is that about 10 o'clock? That's about 10 o'clock. So it could be your mid-morning coffee break. <clears throat> Let me know. Are you going to get painting today? Are you not painting? Do you want to paint and can't paint? <laughs> I do miss it. When I when I woke up this morning and realised that I wasn't going to be getting in the workshop, I didn't think I was going to. It makes me a little bit grumpy, I think. Sue, you're working. Halloween decorations. Sewing a shoulder wrap in fleece. Jeannie, that sounds interesting. Terry, 9.20 here. Oh, OK, so you're, um, you're six hours difference then. Oh, 10, yeah, 10, 20, yeah, fine. For the village Halloween trail, painting gravestones out of polystyrene. Helen, you're going to paint? Surely not. Are you gonna finish something? <laughs> we got there. Catherine, you're waiting until rainy season is over to get back five pieces waiting in the garage. So, uh, do you, does your garage get wet? Is that why you can't paint during rainy season? <clears throat> yeah see that one's come out a bit more I think because I was reaching over I've not put the gold on quite so intense but the, that's the brilliance of these you could I can I can go back over that section in a minute uh, uh. <coughs> do you know what I don't know if I'm supposed to turn it that way and do another section and I don't want to do it wrong oh goodness me what do you think is that supposed to go there? Oh, I wish I had. I don't know. So because of that, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up here. You see what I'm doing? Ten twenty. Helen, you're probably not gonna finish a piece. Super hot and muggy. Paint and poly just won't set. Oh, because it's damp. So would you would it just not set at all, or would you have to wait for ages? Oh god, that's a yeah, that is a pain. <coughs> See, we, you know, over here, we think, we think we have humid. And for us, we do. But it's nothing like what you guys get. It's really not. Oh, I've got very gold fingers. That's for sure. So, Helen, what are you painting? What's your project? Is it one of those pieces that you snuck in past Derek? <laughs> so I haven't got the it's, it's like I'm not even going to say what it's like but it comes from a rocking horse a tub of eternal I've literally I had to get my last one Helen has she got any tubs of eternal I don't think Helen's got some I think she's managed to get the new tubes in but I think even Helen the master of redesign the prima has struggled <clears throat> Having said that, I, I don't even think the lady that I got mine from, I don't think, she, I think I might have had her last one. I'm not sure. I can ask for you, Sue. Or Helen, can you, can you put, um, can you put the details of where we got our, where I got mine from? And see if she's got any left of the tubs. But I, 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 there's certainly no new stock of tubs coming in, Sue. Okay, I'm glad I taped up the edges, goodness. Uh, so, 
that's probably enough. You can see where I'm going. You can see where I'm going with it. What have we got? Hang on. Monk's bench that I started a few months ago. The shoulder wrap with a front clasp pockets used for warmth without falling. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Thanks, Jeannie. Helen, you've got the new tubes. You liked it. So there you go, Sue. Helen's used it. I, I mean, it's un like I said, it's unfair. I've not used it. Um, Helen's got some. So there you go. <clears throat> I'm going to leave it there. I will work on it off camera. I'm going to work on the leaves, probably off camera. <laughs> and um... <gasps> Terry, you found French ceramics. Oh, there you go. Sue, Helen's popped in the comments. Uh, it's Sue Sinclair from Country Fair Interiors. Thank you for that. I'm going to bring my <clears throat> camera back up. I think I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm pressing, oh, I've got, the, hang on, I've got the wrong, it's the wrong knob I'm twizzling. Ooh, uh. There we go. Sorry, you don't want to see up my, up my sleeve. Okay, so Terry, back to you. You found a French ceramics. Oh my God, I'm so, oh. Look, even Helen, so jealous. <laughs> I love French ceramics. And I was kind of hoarding that last piece of mine. And then the lady um, with the bookcase. Oh, so jealous. <laughs> so jealous. Right, let's just all fingers crossed and send good positive mental thoughts to the design team at Prima. We want French ceramics back. Yes. Okay, so that's me done now. I'm gonna work some more on this. I, I don't know how far I'm gonna get. I don't know if I'm gonna do any more or whether I'll just maybe do the hemp oil um, with you. So I might just do all of the stenciling and then maybe pop on tomorrow and do the hemp oil with you because that's quite an exciting reveal because it really brings the grain out in the wood. Um, and we talked about it. The wood's okay. It's not amazing. There's bits of it that are lovely, but I think this is going to have a. Re I think this is going to um, really enhance everything about this little piece. So, who we got? Yes, Terry. I I'm almost like I don't want to talk to you now because you've got French ceramics. No kidding. Of course I will. Erin, uh, you're welcome. Thanks, guys, for taking the time to um, spend a little time with me this afternoon. And as always, if you haven't liked or followed or both my page please do so show me love give me some hearts in here love it all love you all and hopefully i'll come on tomorrow and see you again bye guys <laughs>